Starting Saturday, private insurance companies will be required to provide up to eight at-home COVID tests for people on their plans. But that doesn't mean that those tests are easy to track down. Here in Billings, some pharmacies are sold out. By the time I get the information and, get, and, and try to get them, they're already gone. Billings resident Blair Chambers has been trying to get his hands on an at-home COVID test for weeks. Chambers and his wife are both immunocompromised and live with their eight-year-old grandson. That's my uh, major uh, uh, focus right now is to get tests for our family so that we can know if, uh, if any of us are ill. But it seems like many pharmacies in Billings are sold out. Tests are gone at CVS stores on Central Avenue and at Grand Avenue and 13th. But some Walgreens stores in Billings still had tests available on Saturday. Local pharmacist Kyle Austin COVID. with Farm 406 so said tests likely won't be back in stock until March, until manufacturers can fill the 500 million test order that the federal government took out last week. It's been pretty hectic. It's uh, nonstop patients coming in, nonstop calls. Do you have those OTC take home COVID tests? And um, the answer right now is no, it's not available on the market. Yeah, so a couple suppliers I talked to um, were mandated by President Biden that they could not release any more OTC kits to the public until the government got their 500 million allocation. The 500 million tests ordered by the federal government will eventually be made available for free by mail. Across the state, Governor Greg Gianforte announced a purchase of 650,000 tests that will be distributed to county health departments to give out for free. Purchased at a cost of 5.5 million, the tests are scheduled to arrive the week of January 24th. In Billings, Mitch Laggy, MTN News.